Hello and welcome to the new video from City Inc Express. Today we're going to be taking a look at installing and using ICC profiles in CorelDRAW X7. Now before this video, we're going to assume that you've already gone into your printing preferences, and chosen the correct quality and paper settings there, as well as disabling the automatic printer profile. If you haven't done that, then go ahead and do that now, either by following one of our other videos or by checking out the PDF instructions supplied with your profile. The profile itself will have been sent to you either on a disk with your new printer, or you may have got it by email if you've had a custom profile made. We've gone ahead and put ours on the desktop here, just so we're ready to go. So today we're going to be using the Rico SG3110DN printer with City Ink Express sublimation paper. And in order to install this profile, we simply right click on it and select install profile. There's no loading screen or egg timer which pops up when you do that. It is instant, so as long as we've clicked on install profile, we're ready to move on to the next step, which is to open up CorelDRAW. There we go. So it's a fresh install. I've not chosen any of my usual settings here. This is how you would get it as standard. So to begin with, we will open a new file. Go file, new. Doesn't matter what it is, we're just setting up the printers today. And at the moment, if you have a look, we can't select the print option. That's because CorelDRAW won't let you print a blank page. So I'm just going to add any shape to the page in order to get that print option up. So we'll go ahead and click on print here. Now, first thing we're going to select is our printer. We're using today the example Rico printer there it is and next we go into the color tab and color conversions performed by CorelDRAW that's correct RGB colors and this is the bit we want to focus on correct colors using color profile so that is our new printer profile that we've just installed the Rico 3110 with city ink paper there we go and the only other option you might like to select is under the pre-press tab here, which is the mirror option. There are a few different times that you can mirror your image if you're doing sublimation printing. Uh, with some printers, you can do it in the printer driver itself. You could do it to the image before sending it to print, or you could have Coral Draw mirror when you click print. So in this case, I will leave that selected. Now we come back to the general tab. And as you can see, the current settings have not been saved. So we'll go ahead and save those. Click Save As. And we do want all of these boxes here to be ticked. These gray ones, it doesn't mean that they're locked. It means that they're partially selected. So we do want to select all the options here. And then we'll go ahead and give a name to our default. I'll call mine Rico Sublimation today. Learn how to spell and click save. And now we click apply and OK. Now we're not quite finished here. Currently, if we click print, then it will normally come up with the Coral Draw defaults, and we have to then select our sublimation settings from there, which isn't ideal. So I'll change it so that it always selects the Rico sublimation settings by default. So to do that, we go into Tools, Options. Now we double click on Global. Now we click once on Printing. And here we have the default print style. So we'll change that to Rico Sublimation and click OK. So now if we come to Print, it says Custom Current Settings Not Saved because we've change them already inside the uh, inside this document but if we were to open a new file which I will do in a second then it should come up with Rico sublimation as the standard automatic settings so I'll go ahead and do that now actually so we'll open a new file and then Go to, oh, we need to add a shape again. 
and then go to File and Print. And it's now chosen the Rico Sublimation settings. So all we need to do from now on when we open or create a file in CorelDRAW is click Print and it will come out the correct printer using the correct profile and all of the correct settings that you did in your printing preferences as well. So there's no need to go into any of these settings again from now on. We can just click print and the, the new default settings are all set up and correct for us. So that is how you install and use ICC profiles in CorelDRAW X7. Thank you very much.